Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to record custom favorites that will help you produce better voiceover for your projects. First off, what is a favorite? A favorite is a collection of keystrokes and clicks that Audition can record and then you can take those recorded keystrokes and clicks name them and assign them to whatever shortcut key you want. This is a really useful and powerful feature in Adobe Audition that will guarantee to save you a lot of time down the road. Make sure you're not in multi-track mode, by the way. You're just going to be applying these edits to the actual waveform file. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to save as when we export to make sure that you're not overriding that original raw file. So here's the piece of audio we're going to be hopefully sweetening up using these four steps that I'm gonna show you. Make sure you check out wavebrigade.com for free sound effects. And yes, that was a shameless plug. And you know what? I'm not even sorry because it's true. For the first step, we're going to apply some equalization. So we're gonna come over here, click filter and EQ and go over to parametric equalizer. We're then going to come up here to the presets and hit loudness maximizer. And once that has been applied, go ahead and close it. And for step two, we're going to normalize this waveform. So go up to the effects menu, go to amplitude and compression, and then click normalize process. From here, we're going to change the number to, oh, anywhere in the upper 90s would work. So let's say 98.6 because it's hot like me. All right, for step three, we're gonna go back to our effects rack and we're gonna be adding some compression here, but specifically dynamics processing. With this menu up, we're gonna go ahead and drag this little tick mark right up to about here in between the negative five and negative 10 range. Once you've applied the dynamics processing, go ahead and close that window and for the fourth step, we're gonna add compression. So again, head over to your effects rack and go to amplitude and compression, multiband compressor. For most of my voiceover applications, I use the preset internet delivery and I set the margin to negative two. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to listen to the audio and then adjust these meters according to where they peak out in the different vocal ranges. Make sure you check out wavebrigade.com for free sound effects. So somewhere in there sounds pretty good. So after you've completed step four, the final step is to click this magic button right here, which says apply. And then when it's done processing, go back up here to favorites and hit stop recording favorite. So now we need to name our save favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and call this voiceover and click okay. So I'm gonna right click and say edit keyboard shortcuts and then I'm gonna search for voiceover, and there it is in the favorites. And from here, you can make this shortcut really whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and make it the number key asterisk, uh, just because I don't use the Q markers a lot. But like I said, you can make it whatever you want. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it the asterisk. And when it's done, I'm gonna hit okay. Now if I double click on a audio file in my files menu and bring up just in the waveform editor, and then hit the asterisk, it will apply all of those effects in one single keystroke, which is pretty awesome. So now that all the effects have been applied, let's take a listen to our newly processed voiceover. Make sure you check out wavebrigade.com for free sound effects. Also, Dan is quite handsome. Whoa, weird. <laughs> Gosh, how'd that get there? That's, that's embarrassing, but true. Anywho, I hope this tutorial shows you guys the power of recording your own custom favorites. And hopefully this helps you build some pretty awesome effects that you can work into your voiceover projects that will just save you a ton of time. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future where I may or may not talk about how handsome I am, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.